last time on Deck One. I'm wondering if it's to the southeast of Piatrek. That's where we get the wire. The road to the village. Yo, this is straight up road. Yo. What? Kill the pig? Uh, yeah, that was, was kind of the goal. I was going to kill it anyway. Oh, it's the chicken lady. Oh, hello. Where? Where are you? I'm sorry it won't happen again. Well, in the wise words of SpongeBob, take a penny and some magic, even though your life's tragic, and throw yourself down the well or something like that. All right, let's go. Whee! Yikes on bikes. That was pretty bad. A key covered in chicken feces. Okay, so I have the key now. What the fuck? How do I fucking cover her? I... This is whack. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Darkwood. Before we get started, I just want to go ahead and say be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, ring the bell, and of course, follow me on Twitter if you want to contact me outside of this. Now, I don't want to waste too much more time editing Dylan here. Did you know that 85% of you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel? What the heck is wrong with you guys? Like, come on, look at the size of this bar. Ooh. Subscribe or you're a dickhead. Uh, I am recording this episode almost directly after the last one because I'm trying to prep a video over spring break because I will not be here for spring break and I want to make sure that y'all have something. So I'm going to do my best to make sure that this gets done ahead of time and upload it so that way y'all don't miss anything. So without further ado, we're just going to go and pick right back up where we left off. The only thing I've done in between the camera of the last episode and this episode is that I repaired some furniture, moved it in here so that way we have some more storage and it's out of the way. Uh, I just completed a night time. That way we have enough time to do the rest of the stuff. We did actually have something break through here finally. And we had a couple of events happen at night. I actually got an earthquake event last night, which was pretty cool. Didn't do anything for me, but it was still pretty cool that it happened. So first things first, we need all the wire and scrap metal that we can get. So we're going to take this. We're going to go ahead and sell our staffs. We don't need these anymore. Um, what else do we need to sell? I mean, this pill is kind of useless. Actually, no, I used one, so I'll replace this pill. We have some stuff that we can sell them that's in our little thing over here. Uh, before we do anything, though, let's go turn off the... Oh, wait, no, we better not, because that'll uh, progress time, and we don't want to do that yet. So, uh, bottle can go in here. Planks can go in here. Pitchfork, what does it require to repair the pitchfork? Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I don't need it. Uh, trade, uh, you can take this. I don't need it at all. You can have it. The odd-looking mushroom... We can go ahead and gr uh, we can cook that. Let's let's do that. Yeah, let's cook. Let's cook our little mushroom. Whoa, pow. All right. So we did that. Now let's go ahead and store this because I don't need the pill and I want it in here. Oh, actually, we can sell that because we have an excess um, with all this scrap. Now we can actually I why I waited to repair the shovel because I wanted to upgrade the shovel with the sturdy blade that should did that repair it. Did it or did it just upgrade it? Aw, oh, man. Do we even have enough scrap metal to repair it now? I wonder. Repair. Aw, oh, man. We're still one short. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, that could be a problem. Because uh, I don't have anything else. I do have all these weapon parts. So what I might actually do is I'll take one of these and I'll go sell it to Wolfman. And then hopefully he has some scrap. But as for the trader, I don't think he has any more. So we're just going to go ahead and sell him these pills. I don't actually think we need anything else from him because he doesn't have any rope. He doesn't have anything else that we could use. At least I don't think so. Nope. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and sell this. Now, one thing that I did notice whenever I was, I'll go ahead and sell on the stones because I just want them out of my inventory and I don't think that we have anywhere else to drop it without it being in the way. All right. I think we're set. So I'm going to run over here and I'm going to turn off the generator and we're actually going to head down to Wolfman. We're going to see if Wolfman has anything that we can uh, buy off of him because I really do need some more scrap. The scrap metal is really wearing on us because the thing is, is that because traps cost uh, multiple scrap metal and I try to keep one at all times, it just makes it extremely hard for me to actually um, keep up with the demand of having to repair stuff and then also build the traps on top of that. So let's run down to Wolfman and see if he has any because we're really going to need it. Oh, this could be a problem. All right, then. Well, what you got? Ow, oh, you bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that basically one shot him. I'm going to have to dodge this. Yeah. Oh, man, I missed. Ow, you bitch. Okay. Good. That's both of them dead. Ho hopefully, they have some stuff that I can use. Rocks. Nah, this is kind of useless. Now, one thing that I did notice when I was in between episodes is I didn't actually, like, check up in this little corner. No, there's nothing here. 
Okay, so the silo is still a dead end as far as I can tell. Because I don't think there's anything in there else that we can use. So, um, yeah. Probably just gonna ignore it and just keep on moving about our day. Hello, Wolfman. Yes, meat. Oh, I have new things to show him. Ooh, okay. Uh, the invitation, I showed him this, I showed him this. The key cover, as I produce the key, the wolf's pupils widen with excitement. Well, meat, I didn't think you could succeed. I'm impressed. Time for your reward. You'll find that quack thief here. But he locked himself away from the world and he won't let anyone in. So I don't know if this information will be of use to you, meaty. What the fuck are you looking at? I promised that I'd tell you where to find him, and I did. Did I tell you that you'd be able to- Did I tell you you'll be able to get there? That's something else, isn't it? He bursts out with laughter. Now get out of my sight. I have important- Wait, no! I wasn't done yet! Oh, fuck! No! No, wolf! You bitch! Fuck! <laughs> Now get out of my sight, I have important business to attend to. If you're interested in continuing our wonderful relationship, look for me in this northeastern edge of the old woods. I predict a tasty future together. He sinks his hand in the deep pockets of his coats. Here, deliver this to that insane old bitch as a way of saying thank you for her beautiful sister. Oh my god. He throws the head of the chicken under my feet. As I lift my gaze, I realize that he's gone. Well, shit. Oh, you bitch. I wasn't- Ah. Damn it, you bitch. I wasn't done yet. Ah, <sighs> shit. That's a problem, because now we're not going to have a weapon besides our gun, and I don't, don't really want to do that. Okay, well, fuck it. Let's run over to the village. Let's go talk to the old lady. Uh, we do have the lockpick now, so we can get into that one uh, building that we needed to get into. And also, I did uh, go back through and I scoured the whole village and I picked up all the loot that I could find. And I did forget to pick up a, uh, like a bundle of plastic chicks. So I thought if I showed that to the old lady, that that would be something. What the fuck? What is this? Uh, is this a tank? Whoa, there's, okay. That is some cool ass stuff. I will have to come back for this for sure. What the hell? A corpse. Oh, man. A single shot pistol. Oh, man. A bunch of stuff that I can't carry. Oh, hello. Okay. I don't... Actually, yes, I do. Heave. Ho. You're dead now, idiot. Stupid. Big dumb, 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 dumb head. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and harvest all that stuff. And then while I'm heading over to the village, we can take the tunnels to get back to the house to drop off our stuff. Oh, how I do so adore your lovely hole here, sir. All right, let's take this to get back. Drop off our shit. Go back. Talk to old lady. Wait. Heal first. All right, sick. All right, let's go ahead and drop off our shit. All right, you old hag. I've got a note for you. Oh, well, actually, I've got a couple things for you. All right, let me talk to you. Lady. Wait, before I do that, I actually want to see what happened down in this room. Because we gave Wolf the key, so I wonder what happened. Oh. He just straight up took her. Oh my god, she's just gone. Well, okay, okay then. Good on you, wolf. Damn, baby. You got some strength in them legs and them arms. Oh lordy, what curse has fallen upon us? Sweet mother, what devilry. One day Janet goes missing and next me sister disappears. Oh lordy, oh lordy. Mister, have mercy upon me and find her. Mother Mary, I don't know what I'll do without her all by myself. All right, let's show her the picture of the... Well, I guess the chicken head. Jesus almighty, my little darling. What have they done to you? This is a bad sign, mister. A bad sign. What will happen now? Uh, nothing. Apparently. I don't, I don't really know. Well, that was awesome. Did I get anything worth my time out of that engagement? Or no? I actually am not entirely sure why I did this. I think I might have just murdered a lady and I have a little bit of remorse. But at the same time, I feel no remorse whatsoever because that lady was very, very hideous. Oh, but mu musician man, musician man may have like, oh no, I might have just made musician man upset. Well, let's go see if we can talk to him. I wonder if he'll even come out from underneath this little tractor. Musician man, hello, sir, are you there? No, okay, musician man doesn't want to talk. I mean, I wouldn't want to talk to me either. I just fucking murdered somebody, cold blood. Alrighty, well, I'm sure everything is fine and that there is nothing that I should be concerned about. But before we leave, we do need to do that one thing with the lockpick. So let's run over here and find the building. Let's get inside and let's see what waits uh, between the fog of war, I guess. All right, what awaits us in this wonderful house you've got going on here? Lockpick. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. Uh-huh. There does not appear to be a lot going on here. 
In fact, there is almost nothing going on there. Oh, but there's a very lively man right there. Uh-huh. This is a very boring house, I gotta admit. I was expect a bread oven. A brick oven used to bake bread. Well, isn't that just unique? But why am I here? I'm still trying to figure that part out. Locked. I could open it with a... Oh, you bitch! I don't have another lockpick. Can I bust it down? Ah. Uh, I mean, I could. Mm, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. It might break our sickle, but fuck it. I want to know. Heave. Ho. All right. Hello? Oh. E. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, but wire, that is good. Oh, more wire, that's also good. Oh, oh, joy. I, it may not be good that there's a lot of corpses here, but golly gee, golly wee, there is sure is a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Oh, these, these dead bodies are just arousing. Oh, wait, that sounds horrible taken out of context. And it goes further, locked, I need a key. Use the key, none of my keys fit. I can't open it because I don't have the damn key. And I don't want to bust it down because I don't have enough fucking power left on my shit. Oh, wait a minute. This just goes under there. Never mind. We've already been in there. We we know we know what's in there. Okay, so it looks like all those jars of meat. Yeah, that was human meat, apparently. Uh, so that's cool, I, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what that does for us. But that being said, we got a whole bunch of wire and a whole bunch of rope, both of which are things that I desperately needed. So this is good news. This is good news for me. Now, there was one last thing that I wanted to investigate, and it involves this house right here. I don't know if we can get inside it or not, but I want to try to find out if we can. Wait, did I get any more scrap metal? Enough to repair anything yet? No, fuck. I still don't have enough. Okay. You know what? It's fine. 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 Let's try to get in here and see if we can figure out what's popping. Can't get in through that. Can't get in through that. I don't have the key for either of these, which really sucks, and I don't think there's any other way to get in. I could try to bust down the door, but that would take a lot of time, effort, and I don't have either of that in me, so let's not. Now, um, I keep saying one last thing, but there was another thing that I wanted to check out, and it involves a villager that was just, like, staring off into the woods, like, talking to himself. He said that, like, he talked about, like, squeezing in, betwe in between the trees, and I wonder if we can go behind, like, where he's looking at and see if there's anything back there. Okay, this guy. So he mentioned... Squeezing in between the trees. Let's see if we can get back here. Get away from me. No, fuck you. I'm looking. There are things that need to be done. Sights that need seen. Can I go in between this? No. Okay. Waste of time. All right. Well, it's a good thing we checked. I think. I'm not entirely sure. All right. Well, I think that covers just about everything in the village. I don't think there's anything left for us to actually look for there. So let's go ahead and take the tunnel back. Let's go ahead and drop off our stuff. A lot of our stuff is dangerously close to breaking, and I want to see if I can repair it, but I don't know what all it's going to take. Okay, I can't cook anything. All right, let's take a look. So, repair. Can I upgrade my sickle? No, I cannot. Can I repair the sickle? I need one. Oh, fuck, dude. I don't have anything. I'm actually, like, dead as a doornail in terms of weaponry. Oh, this sucks. And I don't have any spare weapons, do I? All I have is my gun, and I really don't want to have to use my gun, but it may end up just coming down to being that way. All right, so let's take a look at our map. He mentioned, um, okay, so this is the old woods. So that's the last section of the map, and he mentioned for us to go there, but this still doesn't answer the question of what do we do with the pig shed? There's still, like, a giant unanswered question there, and we also still didn't finish exploring down to the, like, far left, and I don't think I explored this tank wreck next to Wolf. And I don't think we fully solved the mystery of the silo either. There's still a lot of stuff for me to do. Hell, I still have to go back to the main area and check out the underground entrance. There's still a lot to do. Actually, no, the underground entrance is probably where we need that key. The key that the doctor took for us. Or from us. So that's probably what that's for. So there's really no sense in exploring it just yet, I don't think. I could be wrong. But um, if I change my mind, we can always go back and check it. All right, well, the only place really left to go is left, so let's uh, take a look at to the left of the pig shed and see if we can find anything important, anything interesting. Oh, trees, do they just block us off entirely? I think so. Yeah, okay, so there's really no 
going past there. There is like a little like area like right off to the left, like a little divot. Okay, I think that's what this is. All right, let's take a look. Anything in here? I would imagine there probably is if they took the time to add a divot to the map. Oh, it's just an elk. Is that all it is? Because if it's just an elk, that's not really anything. Uh, okay, well, that doesn't help me at all. Poisonous mushrooms. Yep. What was that noise? There's a corpse. Let's loot the corpse. Hello? This poor bastard probably died of starvation. He just had a rag. Well, that sucks. There's really nothing here, though. Man, I was hoping for, like, some great answer to life or something, and that is not what we got. Okay, well, let's just ignore the elk and let's move around him. Ooh, another body. <gasps> Scrap metal! Oh, let's go! There's a, there's a, there, there's, there's a trap here that the dog stepped in. Okay, I, I need to get this. I need, I need this scrap metal. This scrap metal is like literally pivotal to my survival. Okay, give this to me, please. Come on. Hello? Oh my god, that's annoying. I don't even think I can, unless, can I? Nope, I, I can't. It, it won't let me. I don't know what it wants me to do here. Because, like, it shows little arrow, but I don't think that means anything. Unless I can use, like, arrow keys. No. Oh. Oh, okay, so if you press E, it swaps between. Okay, so those little arrows on the left, it means that if you, like, you can press E to swap between the- Ow. Ow. That would have been really nice to keep. Ow. Okay, I don't think I can deal with that. That is too many enemies for me. Oh, by the way, I did this off camera. I thought it was just like a normal camp, and then the one of the little chomper things ran out of there, fought me, killed me. I ended up, um... Oh, did I get it? Okay, cool. I did. All right, so both of my weapons are now broken, which is unfortunate, but there's not really anything I can do about it. You have to use your weapon. Sometimes you got to break an egg to make an omelet. So uh, anyway, I, I did that off camera just because it attacked me. Uh, I died. I went back, had to do it again, and uh, there wasn't really anything in there, just some ammo and for guns that I don't have, so it doesn't really change much. So I didn't think that it was even like worthy of me like putting on a the video because, you know, we've, we've done that kind of thing a thousand times. All right, with my four scrap metal, I can now repair my shovel. All right, and I can now repair my sickle. Let's go. I can make a new set of armor. And then I was thinking about upgrading something else on the shovel. I wonder what can I do? Probably better materials. Because sharpen, yeah, we'll probably go better materials because I want my weapons to last as long as possible. I care more about the durability than I do about the actual damage. And that's usually not like me. In most games, I'm usually the other way around. But um, not at this time because weapons break so surprisingly fast and we need all the durability we can muster. All right, how much time do we have left? We, we are at 1554. Okay, so if we can go up here, clear out the camp, that would probably be a good place to go ahead and head back to the hideout for the night. So let's see if we can do that with our remaining time. Did I hear something? I think it's just a dog. There is a lot of poisonous mushrooms here, by the way. Like, a ridiculous amount of poisonous mushrooms. Which means there's probably something in here. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit! What in God's green earth is that thing? Okay, we're running. Uh, I'll, come back. I'll come back for that. Oh my god, what was that? What the fuck? Mushroom man. Mushroom man. Take me by the hand. Lead me to your land. Oh god, Mr. Mushroom man. Oh, that was, uh... That was sketchy. I was not expecting that one. Well, that was very scary. I mean, there wasn't really anything there, but that was scary as hell. Wait, a bridge? Wait, what bridge? Oh shit, I completely missed the camp. All right, well, I guess we'll wire here, we'll take a look. I mean, we might as well, right? Okay, so this bridge leads into the next section of the map, but we're not done with this section just yet. There's still like a lot of stuff for us to do. So let's take a look at what's going on around the bridge. Maybe there's some stuff we can loot while I'm here. Truck wreckage, perhaps? Nope. All right, well, worth the shot, I guess. All right, it's starting to get dark. Let's head back to the hideout. Home sweet home. Oh, how I love my home sweet home. All right, cook, cook, cook. And let's drop this shit off, and now we wait for a nighttime. Later. 
All right, we got a visitor. Well, come on in, I guess. Shit, everybody wants to fucking just come on into my house nowadays, so you might as well be the next. All right, come on. I'm waiting for you. Yep, whatever. Come on, then. Oh, you're gone? Well, good talk, I guess. All right, see you later. Oh, you bitch. I just barricaded that. You asshole. <laughs> Actually, if anybody's an asshole, he's probably like, bruh, I almost broke that shit. You did not just come in here and go dink, dink, and then fix it. My god. Oh, by the way, I figured out what that swirling white stuff is. That's uh, mushrooms growing up out of the ground. Because I had one uh, grow up inside of my house uh, last night. All right, you're pretty close. All right, come on then. Come on. Oh, what the- you asshole. Hup. All right. And barricade. All right, we're good. I'm starting to like figure out this defense thing. Holy shit, the durability on the shovel is so much better now. Oh my god, that was so worth it. Oh, it's a, it's another Banshee event. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a pill because our health's kind of low. All right, but the question is, where is the Banshee? All right, it sounds like they're down and to our right. Okay, well, as long as they don't get in here, we should be fine. Because I have actually done a Banshee event once off camera. And uh, it sucks because whenever you kill it, it spawns like four or five little bitty like rat birds and they run at you. And they're really annoying and they're really fast. Now, one thing that I can do while I'm kind of waiting for nighttime to pass is I've got a second tab open here where I'm looking at some of the different stuff that we can actually sell and get rid of that we don't need. So I did some looking around. The bone is completely useless. The shiny stone, I know that we're going to sell this. Um, we've got a whole bunch of metal pipes. I don't actually know what the... Oh, that's a lot of bugs. Oh. This is like a lot, a lot of bugs. What is happening? I, I kind of, I'm, I'm curious. I want to know. All right. Fuck it. I'm curious. Hello? Oh shit. A savage. Bye bye. Oh, you dick. You asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I wanted to know what was happening out there. You bitch. I wasn't done looking yet. There's just a lot of bugs. Well, I was expecting something interesting. Aw, oh, man. I was expecting something really interesting, and that is not what happened. Okay, well, it's fine. Let's go ahead and turn off our flashlight. All right. And, uh, oh, hey, there's a trap here. I didn't even know I had one. Ah, oh, sick. Okay, well, let's go ahead and head back up inside our house. Shit, it's barricaded. That's right. Okay, uh, move this out of the way. Can I, can I just move you, please? D dry too far? What? Then why do you have the option? Okay, whatever. There we go. All right, Mr. Trader Man, how's it going? I've got things for you, sir. Okay, so scrap metal, we're gonna keep. We keep this, keep this. Uh, I don't need you, so you can go. So the jars of meat are just healing items, so we can go ahead and get rid of one of those. We only need one of them. Honestly, no, I'm gonna get rid of all of them because they don't stack, but we have pills that do stack, so that would be a lot more efficient uh, use of space. You two can go. All right, so we got a whole bunch of stuff to sell them. Let's see what we can buy off of them first. So trade, uh, I probably will need more ammo. No, 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 scrap metal first. Scrap metal always comes first, wire after, and then some fabric could be worth it. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, he shakes his head, why not? Why not, bro? Oh, okay, I see why, okay, I'll take that. I'm gonna sell you this, 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 and probably that's good. Now we can go ahead and take the thing that I originally wanted, which was the fabric, which is right there. Okay, take that. And then do we need anything else from him? I don't actually think so, but we can go ahead and take this now and we can go ahead and make our next hotbar upgrade. And that should theoretically max out our inventory. We cannot upgrade our inventory anymore. So we do not have a use for fine fabric anymore. So now we have this stuff, which we can sell, which means that we can put this down there now and we can have a, um, a throwable now. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, cool. So that should be good now for like inventory of terms of like what we're going to be using. Uh, the wire can go in here. All right, now I've got all this wire. So let's go ahead and make uh, maybe just one lock pick. Mm, we'll do two. We'll do two lock picks in case we run into a chest. All right, so there we go. Now I think for once our inventory actually looks pretty freaking set. 
So let's go ahead and drop. Oh shit, we still got a whole bunch of stuff that we need to sell. All right, fuck it. We'll go ahead and sell it to him because I know we're gonna we're gonna end up buying more stuff from him later. So just go ahead and take this stuff off me. We can't trade to Wolfman, so it's not like there's any point in trying to keep it around for Wolfman. And that should take care of that. Okay, so now that we've done this, I believe that covers all of that. Now, before we get going, because we haven't actually done anything just yet, I still want to try to find out if we can go ahead and kill the sow today. So let me go ahead and do some looking around to see where we get the wire. Okay, so it looks like in order to get the wire, we actually have to kill one of the villagers. Now, I didn't read any of the, um, like, actual stuff about, like, why we have to kill her. All I know is that we have to kill her and where she's at. So we're going to go do that, and then we're going to see what happens. Now, it did say that killing the sow will have major implications on, like, what will happen in the story. But I want to experience it. I want to know what it's all about. So we've got everything we need. We've got ammo, everything. Okay, cool. We're good to go. So let's go ahead and make our way to Hanuska, which is in the village. She's the lady sitting in the burned out house. All right, lady. I know what you, I, 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 I just, I'm sorry. Okay. Dead villager, a knife, and a, she cut the cable. Holy shit, she cut the cable. So she is the entire reason why there's a lack of meat, right? Because think about it. Think about it, right? The sow produces meat for their village, yes? And so they overvolt the, uh, the sow to disable it so that they can go in there and interact with it without it just, I'm, I'm guessing, eating them or killing them or whatever. Now, that being said, with her cutting the cable, it stopped them from being able to interact with it, so it stopped them from being able to feed it, which was their food supply, which is why everybody's complaining about not having any food. So the fact that um, her house got burnt down and her kid fell down that well, which is what we killed, right? Because that, that kid in the well was that chomper. So her kid was dead. She lost everything. So they found out what she did, I think. that That's my guess, is that they found out what she did, and they took her husband, killed him or whatever, and then her kid also died. I, I'm still I'm still not entirely sure about that one. That, what, that one kind of flew over my head. I'm sure there's probably some lore there that I'm missing. What's going on inside this? Who are you? None of your business. I'm just here to look around. All right. Well, all right. Sick. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and go kill the sow. At least I'm guessing that's what this is going to do. Because if you remember in the last episode, she actually said kill the pig. And she had the wire and the knife. Which is a bit weird because you would think that like if you wanted... Well, no, because she did stop the village and put it in its crisis mode. So, I mean, it's not like she could have exactly done it because then they would they would have already known. So they were probably keeping a close eye on her. And I mean, after they killed her husband and her kid, like she was just fucking distraught for obvious reasons. Right. Oh, shut up, dickweed uh, and die or something. Oh, you're so smart. Nah, just kidding. OK, uh, in the crate. Can I use my lockpick? Yes, I can. Ooh, lots of goodies. All right, we've arrived at the shed. Now we know what to do. Let's head up here to where the cables are cut. And let's see what happens. Ah, yes, I hear you. Uh, examine. They lead to the pig shed, but they've been cut. Okay. And repair. So this should snap the cables back together. I don't know how the fuck I'm doing this without a solder, but whatever. Okay. That seems very haphazard, but what do I know? Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the generator. And then we flick the lever, I'm guessing. Okay. Various cables protrudes. Read the note. Set the voltage. Duh, the sewers are common good. Do not remove the lock. Wait, push the button. Is that it? Was that all we needed to do? I don't remember. Because, wait, actually, because I still hear it in there. I still hear it, which means it probably isn't dead. Yeah, no, it is definitely not dead. Okay, I definitely probably have the lever set to the wrong position. Okay, uh, read the note. Uh, do not remove the lock. We remove the lock. Uh, okay, it's in the middle. Oh, so the middle is where it wants to be. But if we push it up and then do that, okay. Nothing happens. Okay, well, what if we push, put it to down and then push the button? Oh, the machine is set to maximum power. All right. 
Oh. Yeah, I... That definitely sounds a lot more painful than the first time we did it. Imagine we go in there like, Oh, I think it's dead. And then it just goes... <laughs> All right, it would appear that the sow is dead. Let's take a quick look. Yep, she is definitely dead. Okay. And the corpse, a madman's scribblings. It's time for my piggies to go to bed, the great big mother piggy has said. So I will count them first to see if all my piggies have come back to me. One little piggy, two little piggies, three little piggies, and a single shot pi uh, pistol. Okay, well, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, can I do anything in here? I mean, there's some mushrooms, so I guess if nothing else, I killed I killed this thing for mushrooms, so that's kind of worked, I guess. Oh, god damn it. There we go. I hate how it allows you to move because sometimes it just absolutely like cucks you. Okay, so now that we've killed the sow, I wonder how the villagers will treat us. Probably with a lot of uh, disdain and anger. I would have to, I uh, guess. Well, hello there, sir. Oh, piss off. I'm just trying to... You bitch, get off. Yeah, fuck you. Take a knife to your skull, idiot. Man, the knife is actually so broken. I completely forgot to turn off my generator again. God damn it, I'm so stupid, dude. I'm so dumb. All right, let's go see how much the village absolutely fucking hates me, ha shall we? Uh, hello? Do they... I'm confused. Do they not hate me? No. They don't care, apparently. Well, that's strange. Uh, I did want to kill this person, though, because um, I didn't really know what to do, but they're just kind of like huddled in a corner being creepy and shit, and I think that validates uh, the ability to kill them. All right, so uh, you stay dead. Dead infected villager. All right, well, I killed him. I don't know why or... I guess this doesn't do anything. Well, shit. I guess I just killed a random person for no reason. Blech, wouldn't be the first time. What about this person? Wait, where'd my knife go? Oh, there it is. Heave! Wait, I- Whoa. Okay, that was a bit weird. Uh. Okay. I'm sorry. A dead madman. A rusty key. Okay, well, I found the key, but what does it do? That's a great question. Uh, yeah, we're about to find out, I suppose. Uh, yeah, not in here. We, I don't know where this key goes, but uh, it goes somewhere. That's for sure. And I would imagine it probably goes north because we've got a building here that has a chest and it has a whole bunch of rooms that we can't get into without a key. So I'm expecting this to be it. All right, so I did some looking around. The rusty key, all it does is just allow you to get into something way later on into the game. And it was actually kind of an oversight because you can loot the same item twice. I know because I've actually gotten this item before. Why is it so foggy right there? Weird. Huh. All right, well, I think we've just about done everything that this village has to offer. Unless killing these chickens gives something a chicken head. I don't really know what we do with these. Uh, well, I mean, fuck it, might as well. So as for the musician, we also won't see him until we get into chapter two. So it turns out there was actually a lot of choices that you can make regarding the village. Because the thing is, I could have chosen to not give the key to Wolfman. And instead, I could have given the key to the musician. And then that would have been um, an entirely different quest line. Which honestly, that's pretty interesting. But uh, I, li I like the one that I did. I think killing the sow was a, a pretty cool mission. And uh, I, I, liked, I like this path so far. So I think I'm going to stick with this path. Now, that being said, guys, this is going to go ahead and conclude today's episode. Thank you all so much for coming out today. I've already gone over an hour and I have so much editing to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, be sure to go down below. Like, comment, subscribe, the usual bits. And if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, be sure to drop a comment or to follow me on Twitter. That is the best way to contact me because that is the thing I use the most. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I will see you all in the next episode, probably two or three weeks from now. All right. Later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.